Hi guys and welcome back to Sunder Toys. For today's episode, we're gonna be featuring one of the latest from McFarlane Toys, the uh, Cyborg Superman from uh, New 52 Cyborg Superman. So, I think finally the reign of the Superman are complete. We already have Eradicator. Superboy, Steel, and now we finally have uh, Cyborg Superman. So, as you can see, I just got this from the mail. Yeah, luckily, uh, I'll be the one of the few ones who owned this early on. Okay, so let's take a tour at the packaging of the box. Okay, the usual McFarlane box and this is the artwork that comes with it from of course from the comics of okay the new 52 series okay uh, useful cyborg superman okay so guess it's great to display the reign of the superman we finally uh cyborg superman completing the reign okay so still i think i haven't reviewed any of those uh other reign of the superman so this is the first time that I'm going to be reviewing one of these, so probably in the next few days or next days I'm going to be unboxing it and reviewing and probably displaying this all for Superman. Okay, and now it's time to unbox this bad boy, this bad ass uh, cyborg Superman. Okay guys, so I'm just going to show you what's inside, so we got uh, the action figure in the clamshell. Okay. Okay, so just the camera. Okay, there you go. And what's inside the box? Uh, so we've got the uh, flight stand here plus the trading card. So there are no other uh, accessories for the cyborg Superman, no alternate hand, mm, nothing. So it's just the figure and the flight stand that comes with it. So now I'm going to be removing this from the clamshell and let's examine this. Uh, let's examine this closely and take a better closer look at this cyborg Superman. And I finally removed it from the clamshell, and here is the closer look at this Superman. Okay, got a um, nice uh, head sculpt here, so. Uh, we, uh, probably this is one of the coolest uh, cyborg Superman I've done. Right? So, got a nice head, you know, nice head sculpt here. Okay, great job, uh, McFarlane Toys. Nice one. And the neck and the logo of Superman. Okay, so loving it. Okay, so I want to see the, uh, the details on the arms. Okay. And by the way, guys, so. This one doesn't have any open hand, so it's all this just the close piece for the Superman. And this one, and, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you that I also have a Mapex Cyborg Superman. So, probably gonna be comparing uh, this one with that Mapex. Of course, we all know that uh, Mapex stands around 5 inches to 5.5, so. A little bit smaller compared to the six usual six inches legends uh, Hasbro line. Okay. And let's take a look at the details. Okay, right here. So it was nicely done. The details is nicely done. So this one there's arms. And there you go. So here we have this. And the uh, this will be great for posing and playing with me. Okay? So, you're a collector, you gotta have this one. You're a big, big Superman, get this one. You're a big DC Comics uh, uh, action figure collector, you better get this one. So, this will probably be, be running up, be one of the mil uh, becoming one of the most sought after action figure. will be in the the coming days so this is gonna be hot hot toys here so we got a let's take a tattered cape here okay see the 
uh, belt here, the details on each leg, so well, nicely done. It's great. So this is what McFarlane plays. Uh, this is what our lane toys are doing the best the details on each action figure that they produce so uh, uh, I think Todd is personally involved in terms of the details on each toy I think so that's why the details are coming out great for each of our lane toys I'm just saying huh? and I just do have a map for promote for promoting his toys and let's take a look at the knees on this one and the feet okay got a nicely detailed feet here yeah. so uh, this one will have been great we got an alternate open hand here and or probably an alternate head with an open mouth so by the way guys the let's check the articulation on this one okay so we can spread this one out as far as we want and this one you can see how uh, totally great articulation and the abs we got a nice abs here the arms and the elbow and the head okay up down up down left right left right and it's on 360 okay for the knees okay got a nice knees here okay bend it like that and bend it like this so uh, the I think the flight stand will be great on this one and we can almost do almost uh, all the great poses that we can for this uh, cyborg Superman okay now uh, I think it's time for my favorite portion of the show the figure comparison now let's compare this one to the other Figures, okay. So, by the way, guys, this uh, Cyborg Superman is only a, bit, a little bit taller compared to Wonder Woman. See, let's see, let's see. Uh, I think uh, Wonder Woman is uh, taller compared to the other uh, usual McFarlane figures. Okay. So, that's the Wonder Woman, and we got here the Hasbro. 6 inch Indiana Jones uh, from the Adventure Shoes. So pretty pretty small here. And who else we got? So we got okay. So we got uh -huh. okay. We got Starfire here. Okay. So I think uh, these two looks good together. Putting uh, them side by side. So this this is probably one of the uh great year to collect uh, McFarlane toys in terms of uh, the figures that they're releasing so there are only a few Batmans that uh, that Todd uh, has been releasing this year so we got some new characters uh, from McFarlane toys new DC Comics characters I mean so there goes Starfire and let's get uh, this uh, okay this nightwing we have okay. so nightwing there you go side by side comparison okay this cyborg superman is really kind of tall and who else do we have and we've got uh, okay We've got, oh, sorry about that. We've got Red Tornado. Okay, there you go, guys. Feel a little bit. Yep. Superman is taller compared to this uh, Red Tornado action figure. What else do we have? And we've got Lobo, okay. Now, side by side, these two, I think these two, uh, okay lobo is kind of taller in terms of hair although just a little bit okay in terms of body so this will be great uh, figure for this to okay fighting side by side okay now who do you think will be 
I think he'd probably steal this Cyborg Superman movie, but we don't know. Maybe uh, Lobo can crush this Superman once and for all and finish him up. Okay, who else do we got for this uh, figure comparison? So we got my very first McFarlane Superman figure. Okay, this one. Okay, so this is the height difference you can see I think Superman is only up until the nose of the cyborg man so yes uh, that concludes our show and I was I think it's time to judge this one so how about you guys what do you think of this a very cool action figure so tall if only we got a alternate hand for this one an open hand so nonetheless it still is a great figure I think it's one of the very best and detailed action figure that uh, McFarlane Toys has ever released I think this is my what a hundred almost a hundred McFarlane I think there are uh, almost a hundred toys that McFarlane Toys have released I've lost the count so from the DC multiverse alone so Pauline well, Toys has been doing great with the DC Comics fan. So I think it's a okay. The head sculpt is nice, the details, the paint, and he can stand on his own. The only one is the don't have any accessories on this one. No out hands. Okay, but that's okay for me. So the, this is probably one of the best that McFarlane has ever released this year so might be gunning for the toy of the year for this 2024 so I think it's a perfect 10 for me a 10 10 for me I don't care if it doesn't have um, alternate hand but the figure itself just look at that awesome figure man it's just very very Great the articulation, you can do a lot of posing on this one. Okay, let's see. Very, very nice. Okay. Cool, awesome. A perfect hand. Okay. I think uh, most Superman fans will agree on this. My own judgment on this. So it's a 10 out of 10 for me. So, what about you guys? What do you think of this video? Comment down below. What do you think? Okay, that's it, guys. So I, I hope you've been enjoying the show. And by the way, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Toy uh, Thunder Toys, okay? formerly known as Toy Hunter. So just um, I'll be changing it to Thunder Toys. More unique, more fun. And as my saying goes, let the toy hunt begins and more toys to open. Okay, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sunday Toys. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching. Okay, thank you, and see you around. We're gonna be unboxing more and more toys. Okay, bye bye, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>